Okay, to adjust your rear derailleur, the first thing that you want to do is obviously I have the cable loose here because I'm going to adjust this derailleur. Um, first thing that I like to do is actually take the barrel adjuster and back it out about four clicks or one full turn counterclockwise just to give me a little bit of room to play with it once I'm actually adjusting it. So to adjust your rear derailleur, there are essentially four screws that you need to be aware of. The first of which is going to be your cable retention bolt. Um, and that just holds the cable tight to the derailleur. You have your high limit screw, your low limit screw, and your B adjustment. Um, basically what the high limit screw does is it keeps the derailleur from pulling the chain off the, the highest gear, and your low limit keeps it from pushing the chain into your spokes. As you can see, this one's set pretty well, and the way that you test this is just to actuate the derailleur by hand. Your B adjustment, which is this guy right here on top, what that does is that sets the distance between the top of your jockey wheels and the bottom of your cassette and both Shimano and SRAM spec that to be about five millimeters. If you run it too much or too little it will affect your shifting in negative fashion as well as can cause premature wear and tear on your cassette. So what I like to do after I've backed those off and checked my limit screws which in this case these are pretty good is that I like to pull the cable tight sure we snake it into this proper routing. So pull it tight. And you could use a cable puller, but I don't have one of those with me since I figured most folks watching this won't have one. Um, we want to tighten it, but not over tighten it. So next thing we want to do is check the shifting. And you can see we're off by about one click. So what I do is I shift into the next to highest gear. And as you can see, we're, we're pretty far out here. And then I take the barrel adjuster, turn it counterclockwise, notice how the skipping of the chain got quieter. And then I turn it until it starts to skip on the next gear up. So next lowest gear, and you can hear it starting to, starting to rub. And I turn it clockwise about three or four turns, three or four clicks, so about a full turn just until it stops making noise. Then I like to cycle through the cassette and check. And as you can see, we're hanging up on the lowest gear. So loosen the cable tension just a little bit. And then you just want to cycle back and forth and make sure it shifts well. And I think we're pretty good here. Check it in the big ring as well. So far, so good. And that looks pretty good. So that is how to adjust your derailleur in less than five minutes. Hope you enjoyed it.